So, first round of Formula Drift Pro for us went well in Long Beach, California. The car ran amazingly with the Lincoln Photo Performance Engineering 427 LS7. We had no problems with that. Uh, we had a little issue with our shift linkage, which we resolved, and I qualified really well with a score of 86. Qualified in the top half of the field, which paired me with Vaughn Gittin Jr. for the top 32. So we went out for that, and I knew I was going to have to drive as hard as I could to be able to beat him, and that ended up being just a little bit too hard. So I uh, went a little bit deeper into the second outside zone than I wanted to, and was about a foot too far, hit the wall, and uh, took us out of the competition, unfortunately. But we still have a lot of points. We're the highest uh, ranked rookie so far after the first event. So our goal you know, for this year is to be rookie of the year in pro. So we're off to a good start for that. We're getting the car fixed up, uh, mainly cosmetic stuff, bumpers, fenders, stuff like that. We'll get all that patched up and we'll be heading to Orlando for round two, April 27th. So make sure you check it out on the FormulaD.com website. Uh, they have live stream on there, on YouTube, Facebook, and they also stream to my Facebook, which is Dirk Stratton. And check out my Instagram, Dirk underscore Stratton, and DriftVet, and my website, DriftVet.com. Nice. So uh, the crash didn't actually hurt anything internally here, though? Just uh, mostly structurally? No, nope. structural yeah, damage. the car... Uh, frame and, and engine drivetrain wise everything's good to go nothing cool. uh, got damaged as far as that goes it's just the uh, mainly what you see on the outside the bumpers and yeah. fenders some wheels got smashed up so we get all these fresh parts on here and we're ready to go for Orlando <laughs> a huge pile of parts see told you I repaired it yeah yeah see that roll of 3m white duct tape yes Oh, it's a, that's that's pretty much OEM right there. Exactly. That is OEM professional. This is a Corvette drift car. It's officially a drift car now. That's awesome. As long as it get, looks good at like 50 miles an hour, and 50 exactly. feet away, that's as long all that as matters. Good on track, we're good. Yeah. Yeah, just watch out for random stuff. Got a lot of a lot of drift parts around here. Tons of parts. It's got new NK wheels. Really excited about that partnership. Ooh, that's that's new. I just figured I'd lower it down so you can see more of the car. Yeah. The, the engine. Mm-hmm. We're gonna we're gonna fix this guy right here. That will, I actually got a new door, but for now we're gonna we're gonna run it. We're gonna run it like that. Cool. So. Not too bad. The back got all smashed in back here, but yeah. The good part is it's all fiberglass and it's all repairable. Got it all fixed up. Nice little repair on the deck lid here. Nice. New bumpers. Had to get some new parts on the front end too. Yeah. But pretty well, much ready to go now. New control arms. New control arms and. So. Um, but uh the. From bumpers, everything's all good? Yeah, it was all ripped out here, so we made a support bracket and riveted in and had to make a new headlight mount. Okay. Kind of rebonded the front end and gave her a little paint in there. All right. So I actually tore, tore the, uh, every Lincoln Folder logo I have on here got hit across <laughs> the wall. So I'm getting new of everything. New stickers? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Gotcha. Is these new, sir? Yeah, well, those were on it for C, remember then? Yeah. They weren't on it last year. Oh, so these are the new wheels. Yeah, new wheels here. Here we go. Test fitment going on, yeah. All right, it's I'm the liking them. T6S. That's cool. Awesome. Yep. Light and strong, and definitely excited to be partnered with them. Cool. Um. Yeah, any other questions? So, like, when you hit the wall, did it. Did you feel it at all? Was it, well, was it rough? Uh, or? I, de I definitely felt it. It's the the biggest hit that I've ever had, uh, mm -hmm. biggest crash I've ever had. Mm -hmm. And um, when it happened, I didn't realize, I guess, how hard it was. It didn't really bother me. I didn't get hurt at all. 
Yeah. Um, I definitely knew it had, you know, felt it. Yeah. Because my helmet actually went against my ha my OMP Halo, Halo seat. Mm -hmm. So I'm really glad I had a Halo seat and a Hans device because I actually got video and photos from afterwards that show, you know, how far forward my helmet went. Even with the Hans device, you know, it, it just went as far as the Hans device would allow it. Mm -hmm. So without the Hans device, you know, my helmet would again would have been against my chest. And yeah. then I really would have had some injuries. Mm -hmm. So because of all the safety requirements by FD, we uh, we stay safe even if we hit the wall. So there you go. I yeah. was unharmed and I'm good to go. Mm -hmm. Thanks to all the safety equipment. Cool. Everybody was really excited to see us succeed. Yeah, what was your first FD Pro 1 experience like? So, I mean, it, it's, it's kind of, it's hard to say. I mean, it was it was very surreal. You know, it, it didn't seem like it was real to me that I was actually there driving with the drivers that I've been looking up to who have been competing in FD for 15 years. Mm -hmm. And here I am, you know, first pro event, kind of just jumping into the mix. Yeah, and, uh, first Pro 1 battle. Vaughn Gittin Jr., one of the yeah. biggest names. Yeah, definitely. So... You know, people. A lot of people ask me, "Is that what you know messed up my nerves and, and everything?" And really, it didn't bother me that much. You know, I, I definitely mm -hmm. felt some tension, but it was kind of everything in practice that went kind of haywire that led up to my mm -hmm. nerves being in a bunch. But uh, either way, you know, it's it's a learning process. I can't expect to absolutely come out and uh, win the very first event that I compete in so mm -hmm. we learned a lot and we had a really good showing and there was a lot of people rooting for us to, mm -hmm. to win that top 32 battle so what's important is I guess that you know people were noticing that the efforts that we're putting in and we're having a good time doing it people love the car definitely yeah, yeah there's the the new livery design by factory 83 has mm -hmm. had really high praise uh, mm -hmm so far at the events so yeah. Orlando you know everything's gonna be a little bit easier mm -hmm. uh, not only because of settling my nerves you know I've already got the first event out of the way mm -hmm. and, and kind of the, the run of show how things go uh, but also I've driven the track uh, the last two years competing in Pro 2 okay so I'm already acquainted with the course and kind of know what I need to do there mm -hmm. setup wise and you know, personally driving. So I'm, I'm excited to really show what we can do there and just get to drive with the best drivers, the best drifters in the country and, uh, and from all around the world. Awesome.